Animal adaptations is great. We have a little slideshow at the beginning that sort of introduces the different habitats in Yellowstone. And then we go into the Draper with an iPad and we actually look at the animals on display in the museum. And we can get up really close and show physical features, for example, the grizzly bear claws. And then we can, you know, zoom back and take a look at, you know, what that means. What does he do with his claws? So we talk about structural adaptations and then behavioral adaptations. And we're able to show both in the Draper Natural History Museum. The idea here was to introduce students to animals they might not even know are in North America or in Yellowstone and giving them a bird's eye perspective of the animals that live there. And it's wonderful for those kids to sort of see those animals that they may never have seen uh, in up close and then they get to talk to us about the animals that live in their area. And in an urban context, we get some very interesting answers about the animals that are living in an urban environment. So I think it's very nice for students to think about, uh, urban students particularly, start thinking about where they live as a habitat too. It's not just a city, it's a, also a wildlife habitat.